Hey everybody, this is AlexHealthHacksReview.com, a review video on whole body vibration machines, the brand Vibro Gym. Uh, now, this machine, uh, a lot of people haven't heard of, but they have heard of Power Plate. Um, and this actual machine itself, the engineering, everything that's in it, okay, uh, was actually the original Power Plate. So, the original and best. <laughs> so, the new current Power Plate. Uh, that's out there is actually a uh, Chinese knockoff triplanar. It's just a totally different machine, okay? Completely different. Um, the one that had all the research in it, uh, that had such, that everybody praised, right? And a lot of studies were done with the machine, was the original power plate, uh, now called the Vibrogem, okay? So clarifying that, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the machine. It is still uh, the German made, uh, components in there, really high quality. Uh, that was what this company also has had, or this machine, had several studies actually done with it. Uh, has been studying a lot of different universities, kinesiological departments and biomechanical uh, places. So we know a lot about how the machine actually performs uh, with the muscles and the joints and all that type of stuff, which is refreshing. Uh, the current power plate, we really don't have a lot of that data. Uh, and we just, in general, don't have a lot of that data with a lot of machines out there. Okay, um, and so with this machine, what's nice about this vertical machine uh, with the traditional tower design in the back is that it has a very large plate, one of the largest plates, very wide. You can do a lot of different exercises on it. Um, so that's really a nice feature, uh, especially for vertical plates, because again, they don't normally have big plates. Uh, so you can do a lot with it. Uh, the distance off the ground is uh, a little bit lower than the power plate, which is nice. Uh, not quite the same step up. And so the control panel, one nice feature is that you have a lower control panel on the lower section of the tower. This was very smart because in general, for a full functional workout, a lot of times you do uh, uh, different types of movements where you're working on the plate on the ground or with the upper body. And if that, uh, that timer uh, runs out, for your session, uh, the, you don't want to have to get up, so you can just basically hit start, stop, or just continue um, right with it uh, within arm's reach, literally. And you'll also notice that if you look at the side of the Vibrogem, you'll see how it kind of it goes like uh, it like makes the C basically a C with the curve curving away from the plate, um, very similar to like a Galileo, you know, just a fifteen thousand dollar pivotal machine, um, also German made. Uh, so the, the goal of that is simple. You shouldn't have a tower, um, ideally, if you don't want it to get in the way of some of the exercise movements, is you don't want that tower to be right next to the plate, right flush against it, where you know you can be limited in some ways from doing certain exercises. Having that curve really allows for actually some exercise that cannot even be done uh, when the tower is just straight right up against the one side, the back side of the plate. Um, so it's almost more like a freestanding plate, so you can really do a greater range of exercises with it and functional movements. That's a really, really important design um, uh, aspect to it that translates into actual greater efficacy, as again, you can do more functional movements you can't do with other uh, traditional straight tower flush against the side design. Um, what else about this machine? Uh, if it's a very heavy machine. It's very well made. Probably is a type of machine that honestly would if you kept it in a room, it you know stand there for two thousand years. It's very heavy, very thick steel construction, hundred ninety pounds on average, and uh, you know you just kind of get that feel when you're on it. It's just so stable, um, and that force of vibration, like n nothing goes through the tower practically, and it's just all coming up through the plate. The first time I actually stood on it, I actually was testing several machines side by side, several brands. And I found this one to be the most uncomfortable until I actually learned, you know, I was guided that I was standing on it slightly incorrectly. But man, like the the amplitude is the mo one of the, one of the highest of any vertical machine, which is important for a vertical machine. So you always want to check that, and you always want to have those specs proven as well and backed up. Okay, so that's something when you're buying shopping vertical, always look for that. But when I stood on it, it was just like overwhelming because there was a lot of G-force, which again, they show the full waveform tests. They'll furnish you all of that information that you want. Very, very few companies will furnish you that type of 
spec analysis information. But you feel it. You feel it, and you and the sign of a good, powerful machine too is if you stand slightly incorrectly or on ideally, you'll feel what you're doing wrong, and that's a good thing. You shouldn't just be able to kind of casually stand on a plate and you know not really be that uncomfortable, you know, with all of those positions. But you know, if you <laughs> if you lean a little bit on your heels with this machine and and, and keep your knees a little bit uh, straighter or closer to locked, and it's it just like explodes g-force into your head. It's very intense. Um, so you can really feel it. And I did back up some of the, the spec claims on the amplitude, uh, which were easy to do, and um, and the uh, frequency range as well. Uh, they have, out of the other most vertical machines, a larger frequency range of options, which is nice, as well as the low to high. Uh, there is only one other machine out there, a vertical. Um, there's a couple. Uh, Viplate, if you want more customization of speed ramping up, it does uh, have uh, goes up in one increments, or even less than actually even one hertz increments with the speed dial on the biplate. So you can choose up through. Uh, but this one um, has like the most options out of just frequency ranges. And if you're in the middle of an exercise on the plate, it's unusual from the standpoint, with the exception of the biplate, that you can uh, uh, switch the speed basically without having to reset the program or shutting off the machine. You can just switch right into a higher frequency um, setting while you're doing that mid exercise, which is great. Um, just it allows for more seamless transition, especially if you're training somebody. Um, and what else can I say about this machine? Um, it was something to do with the um, G Force. Yeah, no, don't remember now. Anyways, uh, if you have any more questions about this brand, uh, just uh, give me a call, uh, or you can send me a message as well. Um, you will notice, by the way, there's some straps you can use with this. They have a really good strap system, pulley system, uh, that are just easier to do exercises on it uh, to get more of an upper body workout. Um, as far as compared to the other verticals out there, they definitely have one of the more elaborate uh, types of upper body um, strap system and option for getting that type of workout. So that's nice. So if you really want to get a little bit more of a whole body workout um, with the upper body, uh, then they do have a really good model for that, which I like. Um, and also training is very, very thorough with this company. Very thorough. Out of the few companies that I do recommend that are tier one, usually their training is better. And uh, this company, yeah, it does definitely make uh, a, a very good effort. And they have good presence in many, many different countries. Uh, to give you the hands-on training and make sure that the machine is really being utilized well for yourself um, or for your, especially for your clients if you're in a commercial setting. So that's another thing that does stand out about them. Uh, and, uh, and again, also just a very good uh, solid construction durability warranty. I've seen in commercial settings being used seven plus years um, without so much as needing anything tweaked or tuned or a part replaced or anything like that. So it's a good sign. Holds up very well in a commercial setting uh, without even having to be branded as a commercial machine per se. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, send me an email uh, or give me a call.